I don't want this to fall. All right. <clears throat> so I'm looking here on Facebook, and Mark Molnar writes, "We're all in this together." That's right, something about Vassar Brothers, you know, Medical Center, blah blah blah. If you visited, you know, Spectrum Collection, you know, log, log on. To, you're supposed to log on to your health health quest patient portal and see if you're existing patient. Blah blah. You know, log, log on to your whatever. <clears throat> to wit, Gina Faraza Gallagher responds, "Bullshit! You're allowing our governor to strip away our constitutional rights one by one. You're all getting paid, so please stop with this." So, so please stop with that, we're all in this together, because that is the biggest lie there is. To it, Jason Leo responds to Gina's response. Uh, he writes in, There are a few things that stand out to me that, there are a few things that stand out to me that have me concerned about Como. The other day he said, if you want us to reopen, we, we need funding. If you want us to reopen, we need funding. Sounds a lot like he's holding us all hostage for his federal ransom money. I could see if he said we will reopen when we are ready. I, I could see if I, yeah. I could see if he said we will reopen when we are ready. New Yorker safety is the most important thing to me, but he didn't. Yesterday he said we aren't reopening New York. We are reimagining, reimagining, re reimagining New York. He said he assigned a reimagining team to see this through, focusing primarily on downstate, you know, like uh, the Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, and the city. Wow, I just. <laughs> the Queens, Bronx, Manhattan, Staten Island, and of course, yeah, the, the five boroughs. Focusing primarily on downstate. What the fuck does this mean and how much is it costing? He said. Yesterday, he also said, <clears throat> "We are going to change this day in ways that we are going to change this day in ways that would have never been possible before this all happened." By the way, bye-bye constitutional rights. The last one is the, the last one is very concerning because of what he is doing with gun laws in the state. He currently banned the application and issuing of pistol permits. If anyone thinks that this will ever come back, you're crazy. It will get lost in so much paperwork and time, another pistol permit will, will, will never be issued again in this state. This is a big step of stripping our Second Amendment. That is what Jason Leo responded to uh, Jason Ferez's said post. To it, Marcus responded to Gina's response, I'm sorry you feel this way. Many are feeling the stress, pressure, and real burden. We are working every day to respond to the emergency, advocate for our community, and save lives. We are working to support families and businesses, and restart our community and economy. Only thing I want out of this, I want bank branch lobbies to reopen, right? You can't get a roll of quarters at an ATM. You can't walk up to an ATM, put in your card, and, and, and type in, oh, I, I, I want $20 of rolled up quarters so that you can go ahead and do laundry. The laundry match is still open. I need to do laundry. I want bank branch lobbies to reopen. I've sat in long lines at the banks, right? Just waiting to get to a t something that I could walk into a bank branch lobby that would take me, what, 15, 20 minutes at the most? Took me four or five hours, right? Here's the bank, long stretch of line of cars, just waiting to get to the lobby. Here's the lobby, a whole, it stretched out to uh, Chicago, I swear. A whole line of, line of cars, about 20 to 25 lines of cars were stretched out from, the, from where the, uh, the teller is or whatever. I was way at the end. When I got up to the thing, they were closed. I was pissed. I was furious. He, he, here's where the teller out, the tellers, you know, the, the outside tellers, whatever. I waited. I, I, I would say I, I, I got in line about maybe 11, right? And I, I looked out. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. This, this is crazy. This is crazy. 
I didn't get there until they closed. I was like one, one of the last few cars to get to, to the, uh, the thing and they closed. Do you know how pissed off I am? I was that day. I want bank branch lobbies to reopen so that I can walk in, get stuff done within 15 to 20 minutes and be on my way. It takes for, it, it, it now takes forever. To get to, you know, here, here's where the, uh, 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 the tellers, whatever, the tellers. And you see a whole long line stretch of cars. Just stretched out, reaching to like Chicago, Nevada, Indiana, Illinois, Texas, Furlong. The lines are ridiculously long. For something for me that I could walk in and t it'll, it'll take 15, 20 minutes to get like a roll of quarters, get some money orders so that I can pay bills or whatever. Right. Let's say we're, we're, we're here, you know, the tellers are, right? The, the, the teller is like right over here, right? The teller, the, the, the window, whatever teller. Here's me. Here's me way the fuck over there. Way the fuck over there. Here's the bank branch teller, the, the window where you pull up to, you know, because you can't go inside anymore. But he, here's the, the small teller window, right? Like right over here. And here's me. Way the fuck over here. Really, Gina? Really? He, here's where the uh, the bank branch tellers. It's, it's right over here. Here's me. Here is me. Over there. I'm way over there. Waiting to get over here. And by the time I get over here, it's closed. I have laundry that needs to be done. I have laundry sitting in a basket right over there that needs to be done. I want bank branch lobbies to reopen so that I can walk in, get some quarters and maybe some money orders to pay some bills and then leave. I don't feel like waiting until eight o'clock at night to get up to a teller. It's bullshit. It is fucking ridiculously bullshit and I'm pissed I'm pissed